Welcome to CL with LS in Atlantis. Yeah, first video since the Atlantis patch. A lot has changed. Uh, not as much as some of the other patches that have affected CL. For example, there was that patch that uh, changed the <laughs> amount of damage done, basically, kind of like what KAO has done for FL recently. Uh, yeah, not as much as that, but there have been some major changes. The biggest are actually two things that were not in the patch notes. CL now uses FL time limits and FL rewards. So the time limit is now 9 minutes and 30 seconds. And the rewards for winning in Div 1 are now... Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Are now the same as for Div 1 FL. I think uh, that's two gold coins. Here we have matrix 4971. Yeah, <laughs> can't read numbers here. And then this guy, Seishi Kami, and Matrix forgot his vampire, so is probably boned. Uh, the another major change is the new mains. Battle staff is pretty much the same as uh, regular staff, actually, and CL. Maybe a little bit worse, actually, because you can holy guard away part of electron field, and you couldn't holy guard away part of flame blow. And it does not have a healing move unless it chooses to take healing as its specialization. Dual Sword, on the other hand, is pretty much broken in Coliseum League. I the only other main I would even really consider on this patch. Well, I I guess you could say Spear, but Bow and Dual Sword, with Dual Sword having an edge over Bow, I think are the the two best mains for CL right now. Probably goes dual sword, bow, spear, and cannon kind of in the same area. Well, actually, I guess regular sword would still be decent for CL. But, uh, Matt, are you going to win this even without your vampire? That would be kind of ridiculous. You need to empower and control that druid and guard with it. Actually, I guess you don't technically need to, but you should. Yeah, th that's not what I would have done, because that had the, uh, the proc on it already, so you don't need to kill that this turn. He doesn't really have a way to save it anyway. Um, because it's stunned, and, well, no, I guess he has Ruru, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, he can't save it, even if he heals it, and then Ocean's Blessings it. And he's not going to do that, he'd rather just attack. So, that was some wasted offense from Matt. I guess he probably just gave up, though, <laughs> when he saw that he had forgotten his vampire. He's going to get uh, those two, though. Yeah, attack main. And uh, if Champion had a weapon rend, I would have preferred to see a weapon rend there, not only to reduce the damage from the Seft Mercs, but to double the damage of swords, sword mains, dual sword mains, passive. What's it called? Direct current, double the damage of that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what makes dual sword so good in CL, is the, uh, the direct current damage boosted by Weapon Rend lets you break the front really easily. Like, easier than Saw main easily. <laughs> and then of course you also have that bit of reach because it hits like a cannon so you can use it to spike like a spear instead of just like a saw. It's really good. Yeah, I think the only person I've lost to on this patch is SS who is also a dual sword. <laughs> I had like a, a 38 win streak at some point. Where the hell do you go for that? Yeah, there's me losing to SS. I think I lost him one more time. Yeah, there he is again. Before that, I beat him, though. Where is he? Okay, anyway. So that's 11, or 14? Yeah, so 14 to... to before 50. Yeah, I think it was 38 or 39, something like that. Well, judging from this, you could have had this if you had your vampire, Matt. I think you still could have had it though, actually, if you'd just been a bit more defensive instead of spiking that champion that was a that was about to die anyway. Let's see, what else has changed on this patch? You have the new mercenary, Gygus, the new cannon mercenary, who in theory is pretty good, but I have not seen in CL yet because it's so expensive at the moment. Seishi Kami over here. I think that's how you say that. This dude, still using cannoneer. 
<laughs> as most people using Canon Mercs and CL probably are. Although, I think somebody rich was playing. No? Okay, maybe th maybe they dropped out. I don't, rem I don't remember who it was either. Zeri's break? I've not seen him play CL before. Yeah, the, the new time limit, the FL time limit, which since it wasn't in the patch notes, I would think it was an accident, except that EA, EAO was saying they got the same thing when they got Atlantis. Uh, so it's probably a side effect of this being, for us, patch 4.05 4 or whatever it is, and when KAO was on that series, I believe that's when CL was removed. So they're using different patch numbers for the same content, basically, because we're getting it in a slightly different order. So I, I would guess that's what it was, that like this patch just removed that data for different time associated with CL, since that's what happened to EAO as well. Series break is instrument. Instrument is not that great in CL, mostly because Ravaging Melody is not that great in CL. Partially because of the lack of DOT, but also partially just because it doesn't have good stats in CL. They just gave it bad stats. <laughs> uh, and yeah, um, so, so the, la the lack of an in-game DOT hurts it. It just hurts AOE debuff in general compared to FL. An instrument also doesn't have good damage with its physical attack in CL, because normally an instrument main would have decent attack in spite of instruments not having good attack, just because a main is going to have a decoration and a mount. But none of that applies in CL, so they're stuck with their default attack, so they can't really do much damage that way. Leaves them mainly with salvation, which isn't really that great in CL, because, you know, you... D disabling isn't as good in CL as it is in FL in general. Like, I mean, Forest Prison is still used and uh, Vital Seal is used, but you're better off HGing really because magic does so much damage in CL and stun is less viable, I guess you could say. Uh, I've talked before about stun and whether or not it is less viable in CL than in FL. But yeah, here you see Dual Sword at work. Uh, I really shouldn't say that without seeing the rest of the match, but I'm not at all surprised to see the Dual Sword winning. Oh, which he has won. Now there's nothing that can be done, because that scroll's gonna go off. Unless he, yeah, he doesn't even try for the proc. No point, because he still has four, four um, activations to work with, or four potential activations to work with. And he's gonna get at least two kills with those. Yeah, with the uh, what's it called, Crimson Blade, and then the pa the Patriot can attack and finish that line off, probably. Yeah, the interesting thing about Dual Sword is that it doesn't have a lot it can do when you Odin's chain it, so it's it's good to it it's good to put it in the the same line with things that Odin's chain doesn't affect at all, like monk and uh I guess elementalist would be good or vampire. But yeah, because it, it is really damaged by Odin's chain because I think the only the only active skill it has other than whatever one twenty skill it would choose, which could be Thunderbolt Slash or Shield Bash. And the only one you're gonna see is Shield Bash really. <laughs> Unless you just encounter a dedicated C L person who is Chosen Thunderbolt Slash, which isn't which isn't even that good. Like I'd rather guard dispel than Thunderbolt Slash most of the time, but yeah. So the the only one it has other than that is its Thunder Soul thing, which is basically like a a flame sword. So I, I its effect is similar to flame sword. Its animation is like a crazy frisbee thing. Yeah. Here's the other problem: is that people are still really bad at CL. So even when the time limit was seven minutes and 30 seconds? Now I can't remember if it was seven minutes or seven minutes and 30 seconds. Even when the time limit was two or more minutes less, you would still sometimes run out of matches to watch because people would finish so early. Now that the time limit is nine minutes and 30 seconds, you pretty much always run out of matches to observe. So we're going to take a look at grinding on this patch. No more skirmish for me, or anyone else for that matter. 
It's never skirmish has not been the way to make money for a long time. And now it is not even the way to make EXP. So this is what we do. Uh, messing up my hotkeys, but I don't care. This is not training center. This is the best place to grind in here. This is the laboratory one on the left side. Because there are only two monsters over here, so it's easy to obtain item info on them. Because there are only two of them that can show up. They have no freezing magic, which makes them unique in this place, as far as I can tell, because on the third floor they freeze, and on the first first floor they freeze. These do not freeze, so that makes it a lot easier. And they have, I think, bow and axe are their attack types, so if you are having trouble with them, you can just split your formation into two lines, have like one over here, one over here, so that their axe attacks are only hitting one merc. So that helps as well. And they will waste their turns a lot of the time any list yet? Okay, yes, we do have a list. They'll waste their turns a lot of the time debuffing your attack by 3,000, which doesn't really hurt you that much. Oh, he's still alive. Well, let's see who we have here. Rob Furious versus Phoenix King. May, mo may watch that one. <laughs> Looks like we will, yeah. I don't know Rob Furious, and I don't really know Phoenix King. I've seen the name Phoenix King around for years, but I've never really bothered to learn who that is. <laughs> I suspect that that means they're not that great at CL, because I don't know who they are. <laughs> no offense, maybe it just means I'm out of touch. The other problem with these guys, compared to Skirmish, or er, the problem, I don't know if there was even a first problem, is that these guys aggro, so I'm kind of nervous about standing here before I observe. Okay, looks like we missed two turns coming in on the third turn, so he got three activations here, I think. Well, Rob Furious is Battle Staff and Phoenix King is Dual Sword, so this should s should show should so should s show the now I can't say it right. We're gonna see the dominance of Dual Sword here, probably. Um, no? I don't get the point of that at all. Double, double free. Why would you shield bash on top of forest prison? It's the dumbest thing. What? There, he's already frozen. You're gonna debuff his defense instead of his magic defense, and then not even attack it. Well, I guess he probably is going to attack, but you would have been better off with a weapon rend. Weapon rend either on the centered on the champion or centered on the general. I probably would have done centered on the general actually or yeah yeah because then you would hit the the sheriff and you could still spike the champion and the the general with the main but even though phoenix king is doing it wrong he's still winning because dual sword is pretty good i actually do think that dual sword is broken in cl on this patch i think that's the first time i've ever declared anything to be outright broken in CL. We've definitely had things be broken in CL before. Like Lady Knight was pretty broken until they nerfed it. But I think Dual Sword is worse than Lady Knight was, honestly. I mean, look at that. That's without Weapon Rend. It does almost double that with Weapon Rend. And then it has so much damn AP, you can do it twice. I don't know what that was about. You really don't want that sheriff to go this turn? Maybe he's got some stun pressure down somewhere. Doesn't want to. Uh, that awakening was dumb. That was not on combo 2, and he has no seal. Okay, you need. If you were going to awaken that turn, right, should have done it on the front. There was no reason to use that other awakening, though, because this stuff was on combo 1 as well, and the only thing that was even helped by that that wasn't helped by this one center on the champion was the Mawindo, which he's. I mean, if you can just do another awakening the turn after that. Yeah, that was a waste. Trying to snipe that prophet, not going to get it. It's unfortunate. It wouldn't have made a difference, though, because he didn't have an activation left anyway to silence the back. And honestly, even if he did silence the back, Phoenix King would be fine because he has a Punisher in the middle line. And probably going to renew that si Oh no, putting the silence on the back instead to silence the monk? Okay. Now, the monk is... 
silenced, and so is the Oracle. Actually, the Oracle is probably going to hurt just as much as the Monk being silenced, honestly, with this uh, midline on Weapon Rend. He would really want to get rid of that, even if he wasn't facing Dual Sword. Facing Dual Sword, he definitely wants to get rid of that, because he's going to lose these two mercenaries, probably, to the Dual Sword this turn, if uh, Phoenix King has a Holy Guard left. Phoenix King's back row is interestingly almost dead. It's kind of weird. Hitting them a window. That was actually a good Odin's chain. It's going to leave him with pretty much nothing he can do except attack with the Oracle and Electron Field with the main. Going to Electron Field with the main, I should think, unless he's on CD. Yeah, there he goes. Going to try to kill the Monk, the Sheriff, and the Empress. I don't think he's going to get any of them. And even if he does, even if Phoenix King loses all three of those, which is unthinkable, but even if he did, he would not be in an impossible position because this middle line is about to die and he still has the, whoa, <laughs> still has the druid. See, this, this front line that Phoenix King has is pretty much the front line in CL at the moment because you can't have a it's it's been the case for a long time in CL that you should not have a druid in the front line. People still do that in FL. Works out all right. You can't do that in CL. Uh, but it was pirates and Mawindo before. Now the dual sword and Taoist. You should just should not have a, a druid in the front line. It doesn't have enough defense and it doesn't have enough M def. It's too hard to heal. You need a a, a champion. Champion main and either Valkyrie or, or Lady Knight is pretty much the only, or Swordsman, I guess. You need swords in the front line, basically. That was a horrible weapon rend, unless he has another Force Prism, which I don't think he does. Well, he is going to get that... Oh, okay, yeah, he does. That was fine, then, because that let him kill the, the general when he would not have otherwise. But now with the double HG, oh, and he doesn't even have the, the counters for it, I don't think. No way to do another Electron Field. An Electron Field is actually not as good as a finisher as a uh, Flame Blow, I don't think, because part of its damage comes from its vitality reduction. So it's not as good when Mercs are at less than max health and becomes worse as they go to lower health, which is kind of the opposite of how a traditional AoE like Flame Blow works, you want to use it to finish things off so you don't have to direct an activation at them. Doing another Electron Field. Yeah, see that that barely dented them. I haven't looked at the specific stats of Electron Field in CL. It may just be that that's a skill that, like I was talking about with Ravaging Melody, they just really didn't want to be good in CL <laughs> for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, Battle Staff is fine in FL on this patch, I think. Uh, I haven't seen too much FL on this patch. Been too busy grinding this place, really. Yeah, let's look at this. <laughs> that is like... This would be like two or three weeks worth of jackpot <laughs> before this patch. Now it's maybe... Now I, I started this one... Yesterday or the day before yesterday, I think. So, that's a big improvement. And it, I think it's actually reducing the amount of gold that comes into the economy, too, because this place, uh, I think the gold drops are less than Skirmish. I would have to check, though. Anyway, what do you know? Another dual sword winning. This is uh, Iridrim versus some guy I've never heard of, Jerbear0514. Iridrim is actually pretty good, um, or, or was when I knew him. I knew, or I shouldn't say knew him, when I fought him. It was like a, a couple months ago, I think, when I was still gun main. So yeah, it would have been a, quite a while ago, like last fall. Iridrim was one of the people I would regularly, lo regularly lose to, even at my best as gun main. Uh, I've seen him a few times on this patch. He's not been playing up to his old standard. I think, yeah, he's in Div 3 now. He was comfortably Div 1 
when I do. So I don't know if it's not the same guy or he's just rusty or his formation has aged. Because you'll notice he doesn't have any, uh, he doesn't have a champion in his front line. Well, we're visiting a loading screen, as you do. His front line seems kind of weak for this patch. But I remember thinking that his front line was weak even back then with the lack of a champion or any other sword to tank. But he just made it work with all those spears. He would just kind of out-damage you with the spears. Some Div 9 guys. Nice fight. Oh, wait, that was that was the last one. Yeah, you're the guy who won. Shut up. You don't get to say GG. <laughs> of course you think it was a good game. <sighs> Nothing to say here. And then we get to wait for the next round. This is really going to make these CL videos even more boring than they already were. Because we're going to sit here and watch me fight. What are these things even called? Scarens? I never read anything's name. Starved? Yeah, Scaren. You get to watch me fight Scarens between every round. And uh, since the patch, I've noticed a lot more like people who don't normally play CL playing CL. Like uh, s some of the perennial tier zeros I've run into, uh, a couple of them actually, like Guildenstern and uh, just like people I've never seen in CL before. I've seen in CL multiple times and played played in CL multiple times in some cases. I don't really know why that is. The only thing I can think of is that the the semi glitch maybe intended change of CL time limit has actually bugged out one of the daily FLs. The uh, FL that starts at server noon now cannot start because the CL that starts at server 11 a.m. is not finished <laughs> at server noon because it's using FL time limits. So it's an hour and five minutes long instead of being 50 minutes long as CL normally is. Ah, oh, god damn it, I finished GC. Oh well, who cares. I don't have my alt on to change it. We have a second page with nothing on it. I guess the only Div 1 playing is this Ah, ah Yahweh? Ah, Yahweh? He's fighting Judal, which I can say. Ah, Yahweh? I, I just keep, yeah, whatever. Ah, ah Yahweh? Ah, Yahweh? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see who Ayawa is. Jadal is Spear. Well, just looking at these formations, I would bet on Jadal. This is a much better formation. Oh, and I even get to see my first Gaius in CL. Let's see how he goes. What's that actual name he has it nicknamed? I think it's Automaton is the non-hero name. Uh, I, I will probably call it Gaius, as everybody calls Rin. Rin. That bothers me with some mercenaries. Like, I hate hate it when people call. Oh, and uh, Ayewa is gun main. That, that'll that be interesting to see. Judging from that damage, I would say set steady stance, but it could be a camaraderie or probably not machine summon because he would have done it then. It's the closest thing I've seen to a correct sentence. Wait. Tight ends and wide receivers. Screenshot that. I hope that doesn't contain my personal information somehow. I don't know what all those numbers mean. Yeah, uh, I don't really see a... Jadal just has a lot of damage here. It's a lot of front-breaking damage. Uh, Ayewe is... That should have been the main attacking, honestly, because his awakening is all horizontal, so... He should really be, be focusing on that column there, trying to get the the vampire to heal so it can't guard and then snipe it down, I guess. Go for the Gygus. He doesn't want the Gygus to... Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, actually, that's not... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, that's not that much better than Cannoneer, but he wasn't finished with his attack yet. Yeah, that's considerably better than Cannoneer, actually. Considerably better. See, now he lost that stun pressure, too. Uh, I, uh, no, nah, that's kind of a waste of an Odin's chain because he still has plenty that he can do. He's not 
he's not desperately needing a gun attack at this turn. There you go. See, th that's what you should have done instead of attacking with the Attila. I really don't like Attila in CL, like at all, because Attila's strong point in FL is that you lose one less activation to a forest prison. But you should not have Attila on the front in CL anyway, because this can happen. You just get it spiked down. Yeah, this is already over. Jadal with the, the vital seal of the back. Just uh, spiked the the druid with a spear and sealed the back. That's what you can do when the enemy does not have a strong front line. Let's watch Rick Tremai versus Mallow and X. Apparently I'm going somewhere. Stop. Stop. Do not get aggroed by Scarians. <laughs> yeah, Horrid does occasionally slip up say something sort of correct. Interesting. Looks like somebody's getting stun spiked here. I do like stun spike, especially against staff main. Warms my heart to see that. Oh, I think we're going to see it yeah, right now with the, the Patriot taking it down. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I bet what happened was that there was a... Uh, no, no, because then he wouldn't have gotten stunned. I was going to say there was probably a camaraderie on the middle and then Cannon just destroyed it, but that couldn't have happened because camaraderie prevents stun. So that was just a case of not a camaraderie on the middle, probably be f for that very reason. Yeah, when you're only awakening as camaraderie, you are pretty vulnerable to Cannon. Ah, uh, Yahweh, somehow still alive. Why is Alpha Strike in Div 11? Is that like a knockoff Alpha Strike? I can never keep track of what numbers in his name. Let's look at the guy who just beat Iridrim, even though he's in Div 3. Because the only remaining higher match is uh, Yahweh versus Jadal, which ended in like 5 seconds because. Nobody had a strong front, and Jadal knew how to kill a druid. Oh, this is actually hmm, pretty good. Axe debuff thing from the Prophet on the druid? I don't know what the deal with that was. Should have done the sword one <laughs> for the, the pirate or the main. I mean, even if one of these rows was under HG, should have definitely done the sword one. V kill... V-kill? Vi-kill? Whatever. Vi-kill is dead. There's really no reason not to put your dual sword main in the center either because you you want to discourage attacks on the center because that's what gives saw and dual sword and axe the most damage against the front and putting your main center always discourages that because people don't want to have their primary damage on the main because it's just wasted because of monk and it's especially true for dual sword because uh, they have static shield which does like nothing in CL but is still s still a, a slight deterrent mainly because people don't pe people just don't want it to happen it's just extra damage even though it doesn't matter better to avoid it you know So there, I don't think any of these matches have been remotely close, and that's pretty much how it's been since patch. Uh, a lot of dual swords just tearing through non-dual swords, and people who have strong fronts tearing through people who don't have strong fronts. This guy's front was not strong, but uh, this guy appears to have had Rin front, th which is like the worst thing you can possibly do I think I think pirate is better <laughs> front than Rin I think like cannoneer is better front than Rin don't quote me on that but don't put Rin front please and now there is once again going to be nothing to look at I may not even upload this video actually there's nothing going on
Whatever, I need to change GC. Pirate ship. Yeah, people keep... Are these mine? No? Okay, so we'll start at this. Whatever. Div 9 guys might still be fighting if I can get back to the list. Nope, just this. Ayawe I has somehow managed to hold on after essentially losing <laughs> in that first bit. Maybe Jadal is so bad that he actually let him come back from that, but I don't see how that could possibly have occurred. Because Ayawe had no no activation. There's nothing to do. He had like he had like three three usable mercenaries. And Jadal hadn't lost one yet, I don't think, or had only lost one. Oh, okay, it's already over, finally. Well, now we sit here for two more minutes and wait for the last match to queue up. Yeah, I... Because this patch is numbered the same as the patch in... KO that changed PvP, that removed CL and did all that stuff to FL. Not this most recent round of, of KO changes where they reduced vitality and stuff like that, but the change before that. Uh, since this patch is that number, I would expect that our Atlantis updates, these ones that are coming in uh, this month and next, are going to include the removal of Coliseum League in this version. Uh, I hope I'm wrong about that, because obviously I enjoy CL since I'm making these videos about it. Uh, but that is what I would expect, and the the change to FL time, and especially the bug with noon FL and the reaction to that, really strengthens that expectation for me. Because the response from the GMs has basically been, oh don't worry about that, that's going to be fixed soon anyway. So I think that they're going to be removing CL uh, potentially as early as this update, probably next update, and implementing all of that sign of glory, I think they're called, that, that like extra bonus rewards for PvP, trying to make PvP relevant again, which from, from reading about it, looks like it will work for about two weeks, and then everyone will go back to doing... PvE because the signs will be devalued. Here we go, Jadal has made it back to Div 1 and is facing Rictramai, who's also made it back to Div 1. I guess we're obligated to watch that, as that is the only Div 1 match occurring. Yeah, uh... I want to see if that's the real Alpha Strike. Alpha... Strike... Whatever. Apparently I can't spell. Can you copy name from list? No, you can't. Alright, so... Jadal is that guy we just saw. He's spear. He broke the front. I think Rick Tremai was cannon? So, in my little uh, hierarchy there, I placed spear higher than cannon. That's not absolute. Um, I, I would rather be spear than cannon, but that's kind of just me, I think. Cannon definitely does have its strengths on this patch, with the uh, the use of camaraderie going up. In fact, I would not be too terribly surprised to see some cannon mains in FL again. I know I say that like every patch, but I, I guess the PvPers are just so sick of cannon from that being the only viable main for like a year. Is a Richter Mine gonna AFK? Okay, no. <laughs> that. Mm, no. No. What are you even gonna do if you stun this line? Even if you stun it, I mean, he's not gonna let you stun the Patriot, and you can't spike any of this. I would definitely go for the Druid, even with the Vampire in this line. The Druid is by far the weakest part of this front, and you want to go after the, the Automaton as well. So, uh, Judal taking an early lead, because Rictramai will not use scrolls, apparently. Some people seem to consider that 
bad manners in CL. I, I, I could kind of get that before because the rewards were not as valuable as a scroll. So you were basically spending money on CL to use scrolls. But now the rewards are the same as FL. So you're in Div 1. Use scrolls. Yeah. I uh, I think this is already over because there's no way this druid's going down this turn or probably even anytime soon. Yeah, because there's no strong melee to go after it except the general which is about to die. And when he does kill the general and and there's nothing else that that Rick from I can move to the front to take the general's place. So he's going to have a first line line break and then the druid is going to be able to force prison the middle and with the uh, flame spear, he can take out the mains activation as well, and there you have it. Does he have an empress? No, he doesn't. Okay, so but but he has a Taoist, so he can also just vital seal the back. So that that's that's over already, I think. Yeah, next turn, um, either this turn we're going to see a holy guard on the middle, in which case we'll still get a vital seal on the back next turn, and we'll probably start spiking the druid. Or uh, maybe actually the Mawindo. Yeah, I, I think I think the Mawindo. Because the Mawindo is probably not going to guard the... Okay, yeah, it is going to guard. Devastation Shell down here from the Cannon Main. Devastation Shell is also not very good in CL. Mainly because multi-hit debuff doesn't seem to work in CL for whatever reason. I don't know if it's that the base multi-hit rate in CL is higher, or all the debuff things just debuff less. I haven't looked at the numbers, but things like Warcry and Devastation Shell don't really have much of an effect in CL compared to how they do in FL. Okay, so he's not going to hit the back again, because you don't want to attack something after... Okay, no, that's not how you should do that, because Vital Seal buffs defense. And it also seems to have like a weird effect like camaraderie where it kind of shares the damage where you can't kill something by attacking it directly. Although I, I haven't tested that. That's just a weird sense I get. But in any case, you do less damage to things under Vital Seal. So he technically should have guarded that druid and attacked with the main before doing that Vital Seal because he would have done more damage to the Parang. But it doesn't matter at all because he can just use the... Uh, Probably the the general to what really? You don't want to force prison the monk. You want to force prison the midline again. Probably attack the window there to try to kill the Warang, but he's not gonna get the Warang. So maybe the druid. Yeah. All right. That was weird to prefer that force prison on the midline to the back because now the monk can can awaken the main or holy guard out of it. I would have much preferred to have the monk out of out of commission. Wrath Eater proc. Not going to make a difference, as I said, this was decided when the line break occurred. Even with these kind of minor mistakes from Jadal occurring, it, it's not going to make a difference. Forward's on a roll tonight, apparently. Huh. I may want to look into that. I've been saving up for a uh, plus 10 Pegasus sword, or I guess high plus dark Pegasus if it was cheap enough, but it's not going to be, and I don't want to get something uh, like a plus 8 dark Pegasus or something and then have it immediately be obsolete when Judgment comes out in two months. So I've been saving up for a high plus Pegasus sword and or armor to try to start soloing raid for once. So I may have to see what he's selling that for. Knowing Nick, probably way too much, <laughs> but we'll see. Odin's chain on the... L uh... I would have done Forest Prison here and Odin's chain over here to try to prevent the monk from getting an activation, but I guess with this many disabled, the monk's going to get an activation anyway. So it doesn't really matter because this is that. Uh, I keep thinking this is a gift, <laughs> like what the, like those little gift boxes that pop that that used to pop up. I guess they removed that this patch when you were low level. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I keep wanting to click on it and type "thank you very much" and get my free money. Yeah, that was. 
if I had been in Rick Tremai's place against Triple Spear here, I would have guarded, well, there really wasn't much he could do with a front line like this. General cannot tank. General is only slightly better than Rin or Pirate or something like that. So I would would really have guarded that heavily, I guess, and tried to do more damage to this side, specifically the, the Druid, because it was inevitable that Jadal was going to get a front line line break at some point. Maybe even camaraderie the front. I know I normally advise against that, but his only horizontal attack was the druid itself, so maybe that could have helped it survive a bit longer. Probably would have contributed a main spike, actually, but... Alright, well, three minutes left in CL, and all the matches are concluded, so I guess that's the end of this.